So in their fund manager database installation video, a lot of people had issues with the installation process. Many people could not connect with the backend. They had a problem disconnecting. Even the database editor was not appearing. So there's a simple fix which I did provide in the final bonus part of that video, which is this website. Simply open up that website. You just have to copy this and paste it into your Fire Explorer. Copy and paste it over here. And hit enter. Now you might want to cross check which save file you want to edit because there won't be a name which save your editing. It is save 0, save 1, save 2, etc. It won't be a Mercedes here or something. You simply drag the save which you want to edit. Now the weekend part is disabled because the time when I saved that save file, I was not in a weekend. Now for the weekend, I did show in this video, like you can have optimal setups, etc. Um, but if you're not in a weekend, you can do all sort of sorts of stuff like customize, results, regulation, finance. You can edit the finance of your team and other teams as well. You can adjust the price for winning the constructor's title and deduction for an extra position. Like if, if the objective was say fifth, I think that's what it means. If the object was fifth and you finish sixth, this will be the deduction. The sponsor payments, cost cap, which gives a detailed view of the cost caps, finance and spending breakdown. You can also modify driver stats and staff stats. For drivers, it's basically same as you do in their fund database editor. Hamilton over here is 94. You can edit all these stats for any driver you want. You can edit the technical chief, race engineers, head of aerodynamics, sporting director, and even the mail centers, which are the default ones, which are kind of irrelevant. For staff, you can edit them detailed as well. The car building tires of this is the pit crew for each team and there's, then there's engineering and scouting there's facility edits modifying as well now most facilities of almost all teams is like level one or level two you can edit them staff these are the staff facilities and these are the operational facilities the car parts is, are also there if you want to change the performance of a certain team, you can do that. But it's not as easy, easy to use as the database editor. Like in the database editor, you can have a detailed look at, uh, wait, I'll just open up the editor. Connect it successfully, select your save, which is the save one, save loaded successfully. Now in the performance tab you can edit the car performance quite easily you just have to click on minus or plus and it will modify the stats usually underflow and rear wing are the most powerful you can instantly see 60 and you can do the same again and that should be 57 again yeah 56 underflow and rear wing is quite powerful but over here it's a bit difficult I have I have not tried this. These are the low speed and high speed dirtier tolerance and all that. You might want to use this with caution because I'm not sure if one stat is dependent on the other, like same car attributes, engine cooling and airflow, front airflow. There's also car performance, car car parts, and yes, engine cooling, airflow middle. Like if you keep engine cooling at 90 and airflow is like 20 the game might break because logically speaking the more the airflow the better the engine cooler it's front wing rear wing you can edit individual parts like you do in the database editor and or you can edit the entire parts as well power trains now this is team relative these are not the only power trains that you can see like in the database editor can check engines and there will be only four engines but over here 
every team is shown. Technically, the Mercedes power unit should be at the same fuel efficiency, should be the same. But again, and I would not recommend modifying the calendar because it could break. Now, you can modify the weather and modify the sequence of races, but I would not recommend deleting a race or something. Finance as well, you can change. You can cross check what are the things that are there in the editor and that are there in the save file editor website. Calendar is there, performance is there, team editing is there. Simply click on any team, you can change the balance. Now, obviously, you cannot change the objective which the board gives you in the save file editor, it is only in the database editor. There's the budget and the cost cap spent in the finance section. The cost cap spent is just a table, you cannot change it. But you can change the board budget and the monthly payment and season target as well. All right, so that's the sponsor or rather the long term objective. There's attributes which we just went through contracts. Now, in the database editor, you can apply future contracts like Max Verstappen. I've added a future contract to Aston Martin for Hamilton, it's to Ferrari. You cannot do that. Finance, people, technical chief. Oh yeah, this, this is the contract section, what I was searching. This is the contract section and you can only modify the value. You cannot modify um, any future contracts. You can modify how long you want that contract to go, but that's it. So there you have it. This is the save file editor. And this also works for Xbox Game Pass users. For those guys, you will have to download their app, which is basically this link. Um, click on this one again and click on code. Click on code again and download zip. It should help with the Xbox Game Pass users. Thank you for watching.